So if you'll recall from the lesson, uh, from the previous lesson that we did yesterday, uh, we talked about unit vectors and the fact that unit vectors are those that have a length of one. Now yesterday the formula that we used, uh, kind of our first introduction to unit vectors, we talked about the formula that was the unit vector equals uh, our vector that we're trying to go in the same direction as uh, the vector divided by the magnitude of that vector and this was our original formula to get a unit vector. Now we're going to do another formula for a unit vector today. It tells you it's going to give you the same thing, it's just a little bit different way of getting there. So just know that this is still the same thing. Here's the formula down here. We're going to say that unit vector is cosine comma sine. So we are bringing back a little bit of trigonometry today. Uh, this is almost the last thing that we'll do with trigonometry. Now the way that this works is you'll notice here that this is a unit circle and so all of these are going to be vectors around the circle and this one right here goes to that unit circle. Now because it's a unit circle that vector does in fact have a length of 1 and that's what we were hoping for. Now the way that we describe this unit vector though, uh, remember that we always have an x component and a y component that we use for each vector so a change in x, change in y. And with the unit circle remember that the uh, uh, that the cosine is the same as the x value in the unit circle and the sine value is the same as the y value. So down here if we've got cosine and sine that just really means x and y for this particular vector. The only new thing with this is that we have an angle. Now this alpha here can be any variable you want but that alpha indicates the direction angle of this vector. And we're going to talk a lot more about direction angles as we go along in this unit. But that's something that we need to know. It's a helpful piece of information given this version of the formula, but this is just one other way, uh, one other formula that we can use to get a unit vector.